My name is Wayne Washington. Ten years ago, I used to live in a group home. Well, ten years before, before I moved in here, I used to live in a group home. And I've decided I'm ready to move on. Ten years later, I'm, I'm, I've been, we've, been, we've, been, we've been here for 18 years now in, in an apartment, in a complex. It's, it's, it's my, I got more independent. I got a lot more independent. I'm still learning a lot, still on my own. Oh, my grandmother had passed away. And um, she said, I need, before she passed away, she just said, well, you need to do something better with your life. Improve your life. Change some, change, change, change your life in your life. Make, it, make your life better. So when I first asked her to, 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 to train me to be a bodybuilder, she, she said, are you serious? Are you really serious about this? Are you really, really serious? This is what you really want? I looked at her in a serious tone. I said, yes, I am. This is what I really want. No joke. That's all the things I've been through in my life already. This is what I wanted to do. And so I made it happen. We made it happen. I had six months later. I had, we had, we, we, they had, I had my first bodybuilding show. And it was with, it was with, um, it was with um, NSL, NPC, the NPC show. And I did, I knocked it out the bomb. I knocked it out the box, you know, so. Yeah, I won an athlete of the year. The first year I competed with, with, um, with, with GBO. Global Bible Organization. And then I won Mr. Atlas in 2016, Mr. Atlas 2017. And then and then I won a couple other stories back there that from from different bodybuilding shows too. So yeah, that's a lot of trophy. <laughs> a lot of a lot of accomplishments. I am a professional bodybuilder and founder of Normal To Be Fit and Normal To Be Fit Charitable Foundation. Wade and I uh, went to the same gym. I was a trainer there and he would come there to work out. Um, he, he would kind of joke around with a lot of people mostly. He has a great personality, so outgoing. But one day he came to me just like honed in right on me and just had this very serious look in his face and told me outright, I, I want to do a bodybuilding show and I need a coach and I want you to be my coach. He was actually very serious about that. I was like, okay, okay, let's look into this. And, 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 and basically I was like, we're going to find a way to do this. He really is wanting to change something in his life and he needs a guide, you know? And, um, you know, you might look at something, you're like, I don't know how this is going to go. But I guess going on pure faith and just saying, you know, it doesn't matter. We're going to go for it anyway. I, I do feel I was called to do this. And, you know, Wade reached his hand out and was just like, come on, we're going to go. And I just took the lead. When BJ finally decided that I was good enough to work with her, nope. <laughs> you know, my worth went up tenfold. Nope. You know, I was like, okay. Here we go, you know, the, the Miss Diva over here who will not let anybody handle her, who, you know, she's, you know, she watched Wade for a solid year go through our training and watched us complete the entire process of getting on stage and accomplishing what we set out to do. And then finally sitting back and saying, okay, I will work out now. Dollar 15, I want Queen of Heaven Party. And, and um, that's when it started. You know, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the title holder of that. And then I, like I said, I went to Tessie Miss Major. And Tessie Miss Major is, is, a, is a pageant for all this I'm going to stop you just for a second. Uh -huh. Are you emotional because you're proud of her? Yeah. Yeah. I talked to Tina and I said, Tina, I don't want to go over across the state. I want to walk across the state. I said, you have to give me a shape to do this. <coughs> I said, I want to be on my feet walking. So she said, okay, BJ, okay, we're going to try this. Then, you know, and then we was, we was training real hard. Some days I felt like, BJ, you can't do this. Then he called Carl Ducino. BJ, Carl, you can do this. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. 
you know, he being a black girl, woman, me out. You know, I'm telling me, wake me, wake me, wake me out, or whatever. And I'd be like, Tina, I can't call that. Like, yeah, you can. Don't give up. My name is Carl Ducena. I am the co founder of Normal to Be Fit and Normal to Be Fit Charitable Foundation, as well as I'm an actor and motivational speaker. So some of the phrases that I use, I'm like, come on, let's go get them, team. Let's go, let's, come on, come on. There's no stopping us on the room, baby, on it. We gonna do this. We do too, but I know, you know, it's like, they do team work. They do all the, the workouts, you know, sometimes it's mental breakdown, but Carl come back with the hype. You know, like, mom made me like, yeah. You know, like, come on, girl, you can do this. You know, make you feel like a diva again. And then, then all of a sudden, you do it. This was hard, but yeah. that's why I was so happy to be here. They had our own face.